talking more about the high-level plan relating to advertising. Now what would happen is the account planner, the account planner writes a creative brief and that is like a strategy document. It's a high-level plan as to how the advertising is supposed to go, right? But, so the emotional, you could either go one way or the other. You can decide to take an emotional approach where it's based on attitudes, moods, and feelings, or you could take the cognitive approach, and the cognitive approach is designed to touch and create a response based on logic, okay? So can you think, can you think of advertisements that you have seen that just seem to be based on feelings and moods and so on? versus one that's based on logic. Can you think of any? Can you? I think Samsung and iPhones advertisement okay. can be the A's and B. You can t talk about that. Uh, when we see the iPhones advertisement, it shows that uh, like families and the good scene of the sceneries. Okay. But, uh, on the other hand, the uh, Samsung's at the uh, before they showed us the, the functions of the cell phones. Ah, excellent, <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's exactly it. So one might show the family enjoying. They're just showing the people who would use this product and how they feel about using the product. Or maybe it doesn't even show the product in any detail. It just shows people having a good time. But that's information. But the information is based on affect, based on emotion. Based, you, you want to create a certain mood or create a certain feeling. Okay. On the other hand, if you have a commercial that's going to give you the facts and figures, this is what you're going to get from the phone. This is what the phone does. It does A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So if you were looking at work that was sent to you by the creatives and say, okay, what do you think about it? One of the first things you want to look at is what approach are they taking? Are they taking more of an emotional approach or are they taking more of a cognitive approach? So which strategy works better and why? Should it be somewhere in the middle? Should it be one way or should it be the other way? What do you think? Uh, I think it depends on the products. For example, if we are selling like technology products, we should also give them some sort of information to push, persuade them to buy the products. However, if we are selling things like, um, for example, perfumes or um, like a uh, cosmetics product, we can persuade them more on the emotional base. Mm -hmm. The makeup, isn't the makeup, I mean I wear cosmetics, all the ladies here probably wear cosmetics, isn't that very important to you and wouldn't you want to get information, some logical information, maybe the quality? That's true, but I think we also easily be persuaded by looking at how pretty and how different that the cosmetic could uh, make it. Okay. All right, that makes sense to some degree, but I want you to think about that. Um, what, anybody yeah, else I have anything to add? It depends on the target audience. For example, if the target audience is men, Mm -hmm. men tend to be more logic but okay. if the target audience is women maybe women are very easy to be touched and their emotion mm. we have one guy in the room what do you say about that is that true yeah <laughs> i agree with this okay so have you ever seen some of those bear ads with pretty girls yeah. it's not really telling you much it's targeted to men but it's just a hot looking girl. What about that? That's pretty emotional, isn't it? I agree with 
everything that you said, but I want you to look at both sides. And you are correct. Um, one of the things you have to think of is the knowledge level of the consumer. Do they have prior information about that product? And how involved are they? Involvement, when we talk about involvement, how important is this product? So for example, the computer. You're gonna be spending a lot of money on that computer. That's different from buying a mascara or a lip gloss. And you're gonna be investing a lot of money. You wanna make sure that you have the right uh, features, okay? Knowledge level, that this can work both ways. If you are an expert, maybe you don't even look at the commercial. You just want to be aware that this product exists. But you're going to go to Consumer Report and you're going to compare what's in the competition. You're going to you know, go online, read Consumer Report and decide which one you're going to buy. Okay? Because you're an expert. But somebody who is not an expert, they might get most of their information from the commercial. Okay? We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. So here, the setting is actually in the airport. Okay? And remember we're saying resonance it uses situations lifestyle and emotions which with with which the target can identify i think they have tastefully put together situations for different people that seems very real one of the things i really dislike is when you have these so-called political correct politically correct commercials where they have one Asian, one black, one Hispanic, one white, and they're saying, oh, we live happily ever after, and it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem, doesn't fit. Have you ever seen those commercials? Okay, this one works. I think this one really works. I, I really like that commercial because it uses diversity. You have a range of people. It captures situations, it captures the emotion, and it didn't really have to say a lot. And it certainly used the different situations, the different lifestyle, there are different types of people, the business people, the student, the so on and the so forth. Now we're gonna do one brand, we're gonna look at 